But let me show you the remnants of the yard long beans and just kind of give you a, an idea of what we um, harvested this year off of them. They were, uh, they did real well. Uh, you'll see some here that, um, actually some that probably could be harvested now. Really that's a little, once they get real fat and I don't know whether you call it spongy or just, I don't know, kind of, I don't know. I don't know what you call it, spongy maybe. Uh, they're not, they're not tender. Uh, I'm sure some people could would could and would eat them. We don't uh, when they get this big and and just kind of you can feel the beans in it, but most of it is just kind of swollen. The, the bean itself is kind of swollen. The pod itself is kind of swollen, and we don't we don't care for them like that. But uh, once they get like that, then. A little while later they will turn brown and you can harvest the beans these um, as far as I know all yard long beans are um, are open pollinator or heirloom so you can save the seed in fact all of these seeds were saved from I believe two years ago I believe uh, it was two years ago I saved the seeds and uh, had a, a great germination rate uh, I forget what it was but it was it was like 80 percent or so but we pulled a bunch of beans off this and uh, just show you some of them that we've that we've pulled off. I got several huge handfuls. And keep in mind that any five of these beans is going to be a meal for two people. They're just that long and that um, that big. I mean, they just you know it doesn't take much uh, to make a meal of these beans. Uh, but you can see they're kind of drying up and whatever. I think it's because now I've been I've been keeping them watered, so that's not it. Uh, and it we haven't had real hot weather so I think it's the fact that we've had quite a few mornings uh, last week and even week before in the 50s uh, mid to high 50s and I think they just figured out that time was short and it was getting late and they just need to shut the puppy down I don't know but I would I would imagine that's why uh, they've just they're not continuing to produce because uh, if I remember right, they produce well into um, uh, closer to frost than we are right now. We're about probably a month away from our first frost, or at least the average first frost. But they've done really good. Again, um, handfuls and handfuls uh, of beans. We didn't can any this year. We didn't freeze any this year. We were going to and just got busy and just didn't do it. In fact, I've still got some in the refrigerator right now. And we will, uh, I'm sure, stir fry those for the night. And they've been in the refrigerator for, gosh, at least a week. Uh, most things I've read says that regular green beans only last two or three days in the refrigerator. But uh, I don't know whether it's these are different or, or what, or whether I've just been fortunate. But, uh, but these have been in there, gosh, at least a week. Uh, maybe even longer than that. You can see the plants are kind of kind of starting to shut down. All the leaves that are on the ground, I mean, that's all... That's all this year's leaves that are um, that have fallen. So I know I picked those things a week ago and maybe two weeks ago. So they're still looking pretty doggone good. And uh, again, we will probably stir fry uh, some of them tonight. So what I'm saying is if you think you might like Asian beans, yard long beans, and here's one, uh, it's a, I don't know, it's still, that one's, in, in my opinion is, just at the breaking point of being uh, good. In other words, just it's it's almost gone too long. It's a little pithy, um, rubbery, I guess is a better word. Uh, they just get kind of rubbery after they get big. Um, but that sucker is at least two feet long. I mean, that's a, <laughs> that's a gigantic beam there. I'll feed it to my chickens. Uh, chickens don't really seem to care for it a lot. I should have just left it on there since that's a, a nice long one. Left it on there and let that be seed for next year. And I may just do that. Just throw it down there. I think I will. I think I'll just throw it down there and let it be seed for next year. And just let it dry out on its own. Maybe it'll be viable. Uh, I like to let them dry out on the vine. Again, that's that one there. You can see how crackly it is. That's ready for seed. I mean, that's ready to be saved for seed. Just uh, peel it. The beans inside are black, there, like that, and uh, that little dude, whoops, dropped him, but that little dude will bring a bunch of beans up for next year. So uh, again, you can see these are in earth boxes, 
certainly can do these in the ground, probably uh, be just as good or, or better in the ground than, than in earth boxes. I planted uh, four to an earth box and uh, sometimes I planted two seeds instead of one, four holes. Sometimes there was two seeds in a hole and uh, sometimes I thinned them, sometimes I didn't. But uh, in fact, I'm seeing each hole looks like got more than uh, more than one vine coming up. But anyway, um, Asian beans. Now, unless you live in South Texas or South, South, South Florida, uh, probably a little late for you to plant uh, these. Uh, if you live in zone 10 or something like that, heck, you may be able to grow these things year round. I don't know. I don't know much about your climate. They, they really are pro prolific. Taste a little bit different, just a little bit different than a green, a traditional green bean that you've grown. Um, Blue Lake, um, Kentucky Wonder, things like that. Uh, taste a little bit different from that, but uh, not off-putting at all. Really good. They just a little, just a tad bit different. And um, I think you'd like them. So if you want to go ahead and get some, uh, maybe for next year, I'll put a link down below um, to the seeds. Uh, again, I planted these from seeds I stored, but I believe Hoss sells yard long beans. And uh, so I'll put that link uh, below, my associate link to Hoss. And I'll also put a link, associate link to Amazon below uh, and where I've gotten some seeds in the past uh, on Amazon. But they've done real well and they do real well every year. I've just never had a bad year for uh, yard long, traditional yard long or Asian or I forget what they're called. Most people just call them yard long beans or Asian beans. Uh, but great for stir fry, great to cook. Uh, I assume like you would any other green bean. We always stir fry them. But it's not too early to get you some seeds for next year. Uh, again, these seeds were two years old when I put them in. So uh, even if you buy seeds right now, they'll be, they'll be fine for next year. All right, yard long beans. When you pick four or five of them, you got a mess for supper that night. You could pick 40, 50 of them, you got enough to can. So uh, it, <laughs> one bean goes a long way is what I'm trying to say. All right, I think that's it. We'll let you go. We're gone.